All right, we are back. It is Sunday afternoon down here at the property working on a few things outside as you can see. We are trying to get the post set for the gas lamp post that goes next to the steps that come off the private drive and go up to the house. Um, it's going to be really cold later this week, so we want to make sure we got the uh, concrete in today, get this thing set, give it a couple days to cure uh, before freezing temperatures hit again. It was pretty cold last night, but you know, only around 31 or so, so I think once I get it covered up tonight, and then uh, maybe pile some leaves or something on top of it just to insulate it a little bit, should be fine. Um, again, next couple days is gonna get real cold, but uh, I think we'll be okay. The uh, contractor who did the excavating work for us here in the driveway went ahead and installed the gas line that runs up next to the lamppost. And so once I get the post set and we get the uh, PVC um, outer cover on it, then we'll go ahead and drill a hole through it and install the line from uh, the, the line in the ground with a valve over to the lamppost, up through the core of the post, and then uh, up to the top there where we can get our gas light plumbed up. So let me show you what we're working with. All right, so as you can see, we are standing here next to the stone stairs that go up through uh, the yard and up toward the house off the private drive. At some point, I'm going to take the brick that was out back and around the pool and build a sidewalk or a walkway from all the way from the uh, end of the stairs here all the way up to the front porch. It's going to be a fun project. Definitely saving that for a later date. But right now we're trying to get the gas lamppost installed. As you can see we got uh, the gas line in the ground right here. And that thing's just capped off for now. Once we get our post in the ground we'll go ahead and uh, install our gas valve, our shutoff, and the line goes up the base of the post and out of the top and then it'll get hooked up into our uh, our gas lamp so when they dug for the gas line the other day they left this part of the dirt um, open they had this board jammed in there and that way we're able to go ahead and use this hole and uh, get our post installed and get some concrete in around it i just started putting some gravel down in the bottom there give it some drainage that way the water doesn't sit around the post and then also to uh, bring the level up we only need to go down about 12 and a half inches uh, so I'm going to go ahead and bring the level up with gravel and then uh, we'll get our concrete mixed up and get it poured. I brought the tractor down from the house with some gravel in the bucket and all the tools in, in tow. So now we can go ahead and get started on this, get this baby set. Alright, so I got my helper Grant here and uh, he held the post and well, I shoveled in the uh, Quickcrete. Looks good, doesn't it buddy? The Quickcrete? Quickcrete, that's what it's called, that's the brand of it. That's the oh. concrete brand. Works good though, doesn't it? I didn't sign up for this, <laughs> but yes, it does work good. Thanks for your help, son. All right, so there we go. We got it all nice and plumbed up. We got our little magnetic level hanging off of there so we can kind of keep an eye on it. But uh, got a good hole. Got her buried up to the prescribed depth. Once it gets good and solid, we'll come back and uh, square up the hole a little bit and then we'll sit our post cover on there and we'll be ready to rock and roll. All right, so Grant's in charge for washing everything up. What? Make that wheelbarrow clean. Did you get it all? What? Did you get it all? <laughs> Is it clean? Yeah. All right, you get, the shovel, get the shovels. Don't wash them right there though, pick them up and... Burn it! <laughs> just kind of hold them out. Don't do it on the sidewalk, it's concrete. Yep. You can just hold that one. Get yourself in the face. Nice. All right, good work, buddy. All right, so that's going to wrap things up for the weekend. It's uh, dark outside, so I can't get any more done out there. Uh, for the last hour or so, I've been working upstairs in the laundry room, trying to get our tile laid out and ready to go. 
We finished putting down the Ditra yesterday evening, so we've got that ready to rock. Uh, we just needed to go ahead and figure out how we're going to lay out the tile. We're using a, uh, an interesting looking tile. It's uh, porcelain and it's about 5 16 of an inch thick. We're putting that down over top of Ditra, that uncoupling membrane. That's going to give us a nice solid foundation for our tile, prevent cracking and grout joint issues and everything else down the road. Let me show you exactly what I'm talking about there. So I'm standing in the hallway. You can see uh, the subfloor here and looking into the laundry. We've got a nice layer of Ditra all the way across to the space here. And it made a big difference in the feel of this floor. Everything feels nice and solid. Uh, it was pretty solid before with two layers of three quarter inch subfloor, but this just tightened up even more. It feels great, nice and even and everything. So this is gonna be a great foundation for our tile. I took a piece of three quarter inch wood here and screwed it down flush with the drywall. That's right, we're gonna make a transition. We're either gonna use a marble transition piece there or a uh, wood transition piece because the hardwoods are gonna be in the hallway out there. So we need to we just do a wood transition. And uh, it'll be the full width of the doorway. So it's really more like a, a threshold than anything. But that'll look really nice. And so we're gonna have that there. And then inside, you can see we're using these uh, hexagonal tile. First time I've ever worked with those, so that's going to be interesting uh, cutting those and keeping that pattern going. But what I was doing is trying to figure out what size uh, layout we're going to have in here. I wanted to know exactly where to start the tile and the direction to run it and everything else. That's what I've been doing for the last hour or so, is just working on the layout. We're going to use this uh, Schluter Edge. It's a metal trim piece that goes under the edge of the tile, and that'll go in between the tile and the wood floor. So that'll be a nice transition, give us something to tile up against, and then uh, a nice smooth edge for the hardwood floors to run up against. Well, thanks again for hanging out with us this weekend. We appreciate you guys. Be sure to hit that subscription button so you don't miss a single episode of Woodmere State Revival. Lots more to come. Give us a like if you would, please, and head on down below. If you've got any comments or questions, feel free to leave those below. We're always happy to hear from our viewers. And as always, be sure to tell your friends and family, neighbors, co-workers, people on the street, uh, random people at the gas station about Wood Woodmere State Revival. We're always looking for new subscribers, so uh, be sure to keep spreading the word. You guys take care, and we'll see you again real soon. Thanks.